I'm Oprah Winfrey. And I'm Ava DuVernay. And this is Variety's Power of Women. Women. I'm ready to run for United States Congress. If we want to see change, maybe we got to be the ones to do it. So the idea is for a co-op. If we can prove historical artifacts. Making this the historic landmark was just the beginning. I remember getting the call from Ava saying, I have this idea. What if we just have all women directors? I go, all women directors? Can we do that? She goes, yeah, we could do that. Because you own the network. Because you own the network. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we talk about empowered idea. Talk about out of the box. Talk about, wow, can we even make that happen? And you did. Well, we did, because there's no way that it would have happened if there was not a network to support it. Being on a black woman-owned network that allowed us to not just let this be a trend or an idea to launch the show, but a real movement that has contributed to 42 women directors. 39 of those women had never directed an episode of television, and they're all now... That is incredible! And now, listen, even when we went to call some of them back, they're so busy, it's hard to take our calls. You can't even get them. You can't get them. Every show in town from, you know, Ozark to Lovecraft Country to Westworld calls about these women. To be a Queen Sugar director basically is a mark of distinction, and they just get hired right from under. They're hired so rapidly that we can't even hire them for a second and third uh, round, which is really the mark of success. These were all real things that we heard. It won't last, there aren't enough women, this is just a fluke. Seven seasons later, this has become a real movement that will reverberate through our industry for many years to come. And what makes me the proudest is that it actually happened. Believing in Ava's vision and knowing that the instant you heard, what if we did this, something resonates, it feels like now, that's not just powerful, but that's the truth. First, you start with the fundamentals. Everybody would have access to food. Everybody would have access to being able to take care of their family in terms of health. Everybody would have access to education. I'd say education and specifically a knowledge of full American history, not parts of American history, everyone's American experience. I think that's something that would really radically change our country. I would teach compassion, and you know who's doing that beautifully is Jeff Weiner, who used to be with LinkedIn and now created this incredible school in Costa Rica. So compassion would be it for me. I think we should teach meditation in schools, help people understand how to cope with what's happening to them, whatever moment they're in. The idea that you can be still and be quiet and find an inner peace. Oh, I should have said that. It's a very Oprah. I absolutely believe that is that is fundamental also. I also think that if I could change the world, I would have people understand that we are really like the Aspens. We're all connected at the root. I love it when she says, if I, if I could change the world, like she hasn't already. <laughs> but okay. If you could change it again? If I could change it again. Okay. Yeah, I would get Got people it. to see that. It's early childhood trauma. Helping people to understand that what happened to you when you were in the crib at two months old and growing up in two years old up until six years old has a major impact on who you are today and your behavior. For me, it would be issues around the working poor, specifically around healthcare debt, the ways in which that can bring down whole families, simply seeking to, to live, to stay alive. Don't get me to crying because I love Queen Sugar so much and one of my deep regrets is that I mean, I don't even want to end, it's not even about winning the Emmy, it being recognized for the great work that it is. Recognition by other people in the industry or public who understand what we did with this show. And I think what we've done with these 42 directors and what Ava is doing with every film that she does, I think what we're doing is paying it for it. She's changed the television industry. She's changed the landscape of everything she touches. She was the new idea in daytime television. Because there was room made for it, because she made that room for herself, it changed everything. And that's what we need to do. We need to be able to step aside and let new ideas come in. And I think in our industry, we stay top heavy for so long. People are holding on those, to those positions for so long. We need to step aside and let the new idea come through. Mm, I love that. 
I don't know if I have a secret talent, but I am a great listener, and I am. That's not a secret. You're um, the ultimate listener. No, no, no. But I mean, I am constantly counseling people about something in we their lives. We know we saw on television. You but knew no, it for you a don't long know time. that I am doing that in my daily life. You know, oh, I know. You, 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 as you said to me the other day. Does anybody you know pay know how to pay their own bills? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Does anybody true. you know, do you have any people who actually know how to pay their own bills? I don't know if that would surprise people or not, but. Well, yeah. that you're a good listener and you counsel people? Oh, okay, then I don't know what it, the answer is to that. I, I know. What? She can cook. She can actually cook for real. Oh, okay, would well, that surprise you? That she can actually cook. I don't know Ava's secret talent at all. Come on, share. I don't have <laughs>